Hello everyone. So in this video, I quickly wanted to talk about uh, a very simple, useful uh, thing that you can do as a Jira admin, as a Jira consultant for your customers, for your users. Now, when we talk about Jira Cloud, Jira Cloud, as I have been saying for a long time, I think uh, for uh, someone like uh, me, personally, because uh, we have uh, been using Jira, we are used to the customizations of Jira on Jira data center version. It was always possible to do customizations and it was always possible to uh, do tweaks here and there to improve the user experience. One thing that I that I normally, uh, I mean, not normally, but I wish if Atlassian could do is to add a project specific banner where we can of course you know add some information for example when you when we are working on this project right so this is a project which is basically of course you know in this case uh, a board and uh, even if even, even if, you, if you talk about the board usually the board is uh, within a project right but while you're here while you're within this view let us say you're working on the epics you are uh, you know doing some planning so wherever you are under a scope of a particular project, it could be through a board, it could be through, let us say, this particular uh, issue itself, because this issue is actually under a project. I think there should be some kind of a banner, like a project specific banner where you can display some information. And there are plenty of use cases where uh, we can use this banner to maybe of course, you know, display some nice information. But when it comes to using Jira uh, for the very first time, maybe rolling out Jira for maybe your team members, you need something to be prominently displayed all the time. Now, imagine that you're using, uh, let us say, uh, a project where, where you're working on uh, maybe epics, maybe you're working on initiatives or goals or features, basically some high level task. L let us take the example of uh, epic, right? Now, usually, I mean, not always, but usually you will, of course, you know, break down your epics into stories that uh, on those and those stories will probably sit in uh, the same project, but those stories could be in different project. Now, when I work with my clients, I tell them that, yes, you can use uh, this project to keep track of your epics, but uh, any work that you will create for other teams, let us say stories or tasks, you can, of course, link it using the epic link. Or you can actually automate it. For example, let us say when you're working on the Epic workflow, maybe you can done, you can do some automations where it will create some tasks for other teams, but you will link it using the Epic link. Now the problem is uh, when you uh, and this is just just one example. The problem is that whenever you're working on these Epics on the consolidated board, you want to basically let your uh, users know that this particular Epic will dispatch work for five different teams in maybe five different projects. But you should probably list those projects uh, on the uh, board or maybe somewhere on the project. Normally what I do, I normally copy the link, let us say this is my main project and let us say this SSPB is uh, one of the other uh, project, I will copy the link. And uh, this link can be copied by simply going to so there are again, couple of ways like you can of course you know copy the link of the actual board which will definitely work but if you notice here this link it says uh, jira.tutorial.atlassian.net slash browse slash sspb so this is basically the link that you can copy and you can then go back to your main project and you can see here that there is actually a link that says add a shortcut now there is something called as project pages and this project pages will basically take you or it will basically show you confluence pages. But we actually want this link. Uh, basically, I mean, the way I do things to basically make sure that people can navigate from one project to another project, especially the projects that are relevant. I simply add this link here as a shortcut. So I can always, you know, create a shortcut here. Let us say project, uh, no, the link and uh, project A, right? So I will add a link here. And when you add a link here, this will of course be listed here on top, you can add one more, maybe, let us say you want to add a link to your project B. So basically, this is again, just, it is not really a workaround, but this is something that you can do So do it. Although I wish if 
we can have something on top like prominently but i think this is something that you can anyways use because the sidebar will be there for you for example if i go to one of my epic you still you still have your sidebar and of course uh, from within your epic you can go to these individual issues maybe in the same project maybe in a different project but uh, if you can utilize this feature uh, again it is not really like like some kind of intelligent way to link uh, or to basically create these links for you but you have to in the beginning make sure that if you're designing something or if you are configuring jira make it easy super easy for your users to find what they're supposed to do of course you can tell them okay go to your pro project and then uh, you know find your project name but how, how, how do we ensure that they land in the right project it, it happens all the time with me uh, people reach out to me i mean my clients or team members reach out to me and they tell they tell me can you please give me i'm trying to raise a new epic in this project but i don't really have access but i tell them you're working in the wrong, wrong project altogether because uh, they uh, of course if you, if they know where to go uh, they will go there but uh, usually people also try to assume for example if i go to view all project if i'm not really sure i will first try to search for the right project let us say i'll try to search for ssp i will of course find uh, something but this how, how do we how do i know as a user that i need to do something here in this project so so make it as i mean of course we are we're talking about onboarding we're talking about training education but make it super easy for them so that uh, there is no scope of error if you're listing these issues these not not issues but these projects or any important links this is just one example and of course you know document it somewhere and and of course you know if you have a conference page connected but having some something which is always there prominently displayed uh nothing like it it is something very important and of course you can also do one thing you can go to project settings and if you go to the details you can uh, actually add uh, maybe a link here for example uh, this project details this is my uh, and of course when you when you create a link sspa you can actually create a link uh, using uh, this uh, uh, it's like uh, it's a format that you can use and you can actually copy the link here and uh, that is it so in a way you are again using this project description which is definitely helpful and you can uh, you know see these links here nicely displayed and uh, you can uh, i mean use it and and sometimes I mean, and i'll show you how to how this is useful so this is something that you can do and if you go to the let, let us say someone is landing on the project they might see this information somewhere uh, and if, and if you are on the dashboard let us say you are on the dashboard uh, let me just go to the dashboard and let me open the software development dashboard and if you click on uh, what shall we do we, we should probably click on edit uh, let me just check if we have that uh, dashboard here list multiple projects no i don't really think this will help but let me try so add and let me add here uh, where is the gadget I just added a gadget, right? Come on. Configure. Okay. So I want to display. Let us say, what was the what what was the what, what was the project? SSP. All right. SS. I think I need to find the project name. Company managed project. Okay. Company managed Scrum project. So I'm I'm trying to show you something really cool all right so if you select this project here and if you if you select here details detailed and if you save this basically what will happen uh the project will also i mean that description that you just entered it will be like listed here so you can always create a dashboard for your team with the these uh, description these details and you know these links so display something useful here and you can of course have more text you can also insert images here by the way uh so what i'm trying to show you today is how to make the user experience for new especially for new jira users uh good how to help them how to make sure that they are not frustrated they are not always reaching out to you for asking for stu not stupid but small things but uh, don't don't assume that your users are intelligent or they know everything 
because they are not really Jira ad admin. They are, they, they, I'm, I'm sure they are intelligent, but uh, not in Jira. They probably know other things. But don't don't really uh, think that if you know how to find your stuff, how to do things in Jira, then everyone can do it. Uh, because you need if if you need people to follow and or, and probably work on maybe five or six projects then uh, make sure that you create something like this like links to those five five or six projects all right that is it nothing much to to talk about apart from these small tips i thought i'll probably share these things and i hope you found this video useful and you also learned something new thank you very much bye bye